federal hate crime. The dramatic rise in anti-Semitism in France is serving as an unprecedented catalyst for French Jews to emigrate to Israel. A new French language call center was opened by the Jewish agency last week to assist in the process. There were 900 new immigrants from France during January and February of this year, as compared with 300 during the same period last year. 1,900 people made Aliyah from France in 2012, and that number jumped to 3,300 the following year. While statistics on anti-Semitic acts are not released to the public, the head of the Sassoon Center for the Study of Anti-Semitism at Hebrew University, Pro Professor Robert Wistrich, told IBA's Ario Sullivan that over three-quarters of the attacks on French Jews are being carried out by Muslims. Well, the most recent report um, surveying all the anti-Semitic incidents that took place on French territory it shows the astounding um, statistic that Jews who represent slightly less than 1% of the overall French population account, account for 40% of all racist incidents, all racist incidents, are on the soil of France. Far more Jews in absolute numbers are victims of a racist assault than Muslims, despite the fact that Muslims outnumber Jews by 10 to 1 in France. Uh, this is a rarely uh, commented on and, in fact, not very widely known result. It's, it's not only the conclusion of Jewish organizations, but of the French interior ministry. And I would say that the present new prime minister of France, Manuel Valls, who was previously minister of the interior, um, is well aware of this problem because he undertook in the last two years probably the most aggressive anti-anti-Semitic campaign ever undertaken in that country. And that clearly reflects the gravity of the situation. Well, we see uh, gains by the far right, the Marie Le Pen and her party's uh, attempts to ban kosher uh, slaughter and kosher food in schools. And yet we also have the, the, the Islam attacks on, on Jews. So who is uh, victimizing the Jews in France? Well, officially, um, the, the government is not permitted to publish um, the religious or other affiliation of attackers uh, or people responsible for such incidents. However, we do know, more or less, from the available uh, material, that, that Muslim Arabs, overwhelmingly, uh, and in some cases Africans who are Muslims from West Africa, um, account today for uh, perhaps three quarters or more of all anti-Semitic incidents, certainly of a more violent uh, nature. And of course, everyone remembers the horrific events in Toulouse in 2012, with four Jews being murdered by Mohamed Merah, who was now a French Algerian uh, Muslim. And um, this has created, I think, a momentum for Aliyah unprecedented in French Jewish history. Is the anti Semitism in France a catalyst for people to make Aliyah move to Israel? This is a constant talking point now, which it was not the case even five years ago, certainly not ten years ago. And uh, there is a real anxiety about personal security, a feeling of, of that the social fabric is somewhat unraveling, that the state, despite good intentions of the present socialist government, um, is unable to, to really control this. Fighting.